Circular Business Models Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss circular business models. Circular business models are a sustainability-oriented approach that aims to minimize waste and maximize the efficient use of resources throughout a product's life cycle. Unlike traditional linear models, take, make, dispose, circular models emphasize the principles of reduce, reuse, and recycle. Imagine a paper company that produces office paper. It establishes a program where businesses can return their used paper waste to collection points or directly to the company. The collected paper is then processed, recycled, and used to manufacture new office paper. This closed-loop system not only reduces the need for cutting down more trees, but also minimizes the environmental impact associated with paper production. It aligns with the principles of a circular business model by ensuring that resources are continually reused, promoting sustainability and reducing waste. Circular business models offer many advantages. The key ones are resource efficiency, waste reduction, cost savings, environmental conservation, long-term sustainability, innovation stimulus, enhanced brand reputation, risk mitigation, extended product lifespan, job creation. What are different circular business models? One, circular supply models. This model focuses on creating closed loop supply chains where materials are continuously reused, recycled, or remanufactured, reducing the need for new resource extraction. For example, a textile manufacturer collects used clothing, disassembles them, and incorporates the recovered fibers into the production of new garments, creating a closed-loop system for textiles. 2. Resource Recovery Models Involves the extraction and reuse of valuable materials from waste streams, contributing to resource conservation and minimizing environmental impact. Example. A waste management company extracts valuable metals from electronic waste, e-waste, and sells them back to manufacturers for reuse in new electronic products. 3. Sharing Models Emphasizes collaborative consumption and shared use of products or services, reducing individual ownership and optimizing resource utilization. Example, a car sharing service allows users to rent vehicles on demand promoting shared mobility and reducing the overall number of cars on the road. 4. Product Life Extension Models Aims to prolong the lifespan of products through repair, maintenance, or upgrades, reducing the frequency of disposal and encouraging sustainable consumption practices. Example, a smartphone manufacturer designs devices with modular components, allowing users to easily replace or upgrade individual parts egg battery camera. Instead of discarding the entire device when one component becomes obsolete or faulty. 5. Product Service System Models Shifts the focus from selling products to providing services, encouraging leasing, renting, or subscription-based models, promoting product longevity and efficient resource use. Example, a company offers a lighting service instead of selling light bulbs. Customers pay for the service of well-lit spaces, and the company is responsible for maintaining, upgrading, and recycling the lighting fixtures. In conclusion, circular business models are paving the way for a more sustainable and environmentally conscious future. By reimagining how we produce, consume, and dispose of goods, we can create systems that prioritize resource efficiency, waste reduction, and long-term resilience. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of circular business models. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on sustainable practices. Together, let's build a circular future that benefits us all. Until next time, stay green and stay inspired.